Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Global Product Options Shopify Tutorial. So, in this case, how do we start using Global Product Options here? Well, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up your Shopify store. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to install the actual app. So, at the bottom left of your store or admin page here, go ahead and click on Settings. Now under settings, you want to go to the section for apps and sales channel. And from here, you want to click on the Shopify app store at the top right of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to look for global. So just type in global here in your search bar and you should be able to see a global uh, product uh, product options here, which in this case, uh, you should see global product options. Let's go and click on it. Now it says that they actually have a free plan available and a free trial available as well. Let's go ahead and click on install. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to confirm the installation. Let's go ahead and click on install. And that should confirm the installation. So let's just wait for it to load up. But once it's actually loaded up, you should be able to start using the actual app. Now, there are three steps that you need to do here. First is you need to create option sets. So create new option sets to make changes to existing ones. So let's go and click on create option set. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to start adding some elements into it. So let's go ahead and click on add element. And you could either add text, text area, numbers, select or drop down here, choice list or static text. You could go ahead and do that. So for example, I'm just going to add a text here and from here, let's go ahead and customize this one. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, maybe I want to say this is going to be a sample field, but you could add whatever label uh, name you want to use for this one. So we are going to name this as text one. Now you could also add on product here. So in this case, uh, you need to actually uh, get the paid plan for you to utilize this option here, which is add on product. So you will be able to add a price for this specific uh, label. Now you also have the required field here if you want to and hide advanced options if you want to. But in this case, uh, you could go ahead and just add whatever you want here. Like what I said before, let's go and go back. So if you want to add a drop down list, you can go and click on drop down here. Let's go and click on it. And we want to add our options. So in this case, we have option one. Let's go ahead and add another option, option two. So in this case, you could edit the edit help text here if you want to. And also, again, if you want to utilize the price option here, you need to have an upgraded plan. Now, in this case, once we, what we need to do next is we need to confirm our changes. So when we actually go back here and click on save at the top right, that would actually save our changes. But in this case, it's going to say, please select products to apply this option. Click select products on the left side, which in this case at the left uh, panel here, we have our products. So in this case, you could either manually add them or in this case, enable this option for all products if you want to. So for example, let's go ahead and enable this for a specific product only. So we have this t-shirt. Let's go ahead and click on select. And from here, we should be able to add that specific option. Let's go and click on save at the top right to confirm our changes. It's going to say options created. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and go back or exit. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to complete the whole thing. So we now need to integrate this with team. In this case, let's go and click on integrate team. And it will actually redirect you to the team editor. Let's go and click on this one. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up. But once it's actually loaded up, you could go ahead and enable the actual option here. So by default, it's going to be enabled. Let's just click on save to make sure to make sure that we are using or we save our changes here. Let's go ahead and go back. It should be uh, now uh, set to activate it. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back to global product options. And we now need to customize the widget. In this case, go ahead and click on customize now. And from here, you could change a few things like the alignment here the swatch tooltip, the position itself, collection page, product page, and whatnot. So if you want to change those, you can go ahead. Now I also have the preview at the right side here if you want to. So in this case, for now, we are good with this one. Let's go and click on save. And from here, we are now ready to start viewing our uh, product options. Now in here, let's go to our online store. Let's go and click on the view or online store. And whenever you actually click one of the products that we actually added, our options or product option, you should now have your sample field as well as our drop down field, depending on what you added on the previous window. 
But yeah, in this case, that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.